Welcome back to today's show. I'm Angie Mazzell. Charleston is one of America's top travel destinations. The Low Country has a certain charm that draws visitors in, and it keeps them from wanting to leave. Our beautiful beaches are just one reason people just can't seem to stay away. So today we explore the history of the East Islands, better known as the Isle of Palms, Sullivan's Island, and Mount Pleasant. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time visitor, the collective 10-mile stretch of beaches made up of Sullivan's Island, Dewey's Island, and the Isle of Palms will leave you awestruck. Breathtaking views await you atop the peak of the Isle of Palms connector that crosses the Intracoastal Waterway. These pristine beaches attract millions of visitors each year and are among the reasons so many people continue to relocate to the Low Country. The city of Isle of Palms has worked diligently to provide world-class accommodations, landscaping, and public services to an ever-increasing number of tourists and locals year after year. You can find everything you want at the center of the Isle of Palms boardwalk, which is home to many restaurants, shops, and live music venues. Just a short drive south of the island, you cross Breach Inlet onto Sullivan's Island home of Fort Moultrie, a significant site of both Revolutionary and Civil War battles. Sullivan's Island and the Charleston County Library have converted a section of the fort into a library named after Edgar Allan Poe. The library location was chosen to acknowledge Mr. Poe's significant contributions to literature. While he was enlisted in the Army, stationed at Fort Moultrie, Mr. Poe wrote The Gold Bug, that, among other works, are now on display in the Edgar Allan Poe Library on Sullivan's Island. That's truly what makes Charleston, Charleston, and it's why so many are deciding to make Charleston not just a vacation spot, but a permanent home. Now, get your real estate questions ready, because it's almost time for this week's Ask the Expert. Whether you're shopping for a new home or you're thinking about selling, qualified real estate agents are here to help you each week. You can submit your question by logging on to our website, charlestonrealestatenews.com. Ask the Expert is coming up right after the break, and then my favorite part of the show. I'll take you on a tour of a fabulous Charleston dream home. We're going to the award-winning Ion Village, and inside a one-of-a-kind designer's masterpiece. Stay with us. <music> 